In this space flight simulator video, we're gonna simulate the Apollo 11 lunar mission. I spent a long time designing, building, and testing this rocket here, which is based off the Saturn V rocket used in the real mission. So let's see if it's gonna work. If we turn off the interior view, we can see the inside of it. So this is actually our lunar lander right here, which has these legs that are gonna come out. And here's our command module. Um, I had to um, put the parachutes inside of it like this, and that should work. Um, the majority of this rocket just gets us into orbit of Earth, and then we're actually going to take our command module and flip it around and dock it into our lunar lander to pull it out, which is what's actually done in the real mission. So let's launch it. So here we go. So in Space Flight Simulator, if you look at the bottom right here, this will show us how to point our rocket to get it into orbit. So if we just keep turning the rocket here, we will get into orbit. And you can see that we keep accelerating, which is what we want. And we want this line, this is our trajectory line, we want this to go into space to get into orbit. So we ran out of fuel on our first stage. So if we click this, it'll separate and our next stage will start. So we just need to keep going. So we want this line to be a little bit above uh, the Kármán line, which is our line of space here. So once we get about there, we can cut the engine and then we can just coast till we get to this peak. So once we get about here, we can start to speed up again. And you can see these are starting to get closer to outer space. And it looks like we're about to run out of fuel again. So we're gonna have to stage it again. That's out and hit stage. And once it says low earth orbit. Okay, so now our rocket is in orbit around earth. So now what we're gonna wanna do is zoom out till we see the moon here and click navigate to. So this will give us a transfer window. So when our rocket reaches this point in its orbit, it's gonna give us a speed that we need to get to. And once we get to that speed, it'll shoot us along this path to right here. And the moon isn't there right now. Basically, we'll meet the moon there. So we can use our time warp to wait for our rocket to get to the transfer window spot. And you can see we need to accelerate 650 meters per second. So let's orient our rocket here and start going. So we just speed up. You can see here's the Earth and we're about to leave it. You can see our current trajectory is growing and it will continue to grow. So this is getting pretty close to the number we want. So once it gets closer, we're going to want to slow it down and then check out the moon. She will leave it like that. We are actually on a trajectory to the moon now. Um, let's speed up time a little bit and then we'll get our docking thing going. Now's the fun part. So we're going to actually stage again. Open this. We got to undock this. And so here's our um, lunar lander. That's this. And here's our command module. So we need to take control of our command module like this and we can turn on RCS and flip it around and redock it to our lunar lander. Perfect. So um, none of this we actually need anymore. So these are all just going to be space junk and this is what we actually need to get to the moon. So now we just have to speed up time and wait till we're in the sphere of influence of the moon. Okay, coming up on it. So once we get to our closest point, we're gonna want to start slowing down. So now we just use our engine and burn until we are in the moon's orbit. So this will slow us down enough that instead of escaping like this, the moon's gravity will start to pull on us enough that we will be circling the moon now. There we go. So we want our orbit to be pretty close. So we're going to keep this going until this, um, until this point is pretty close. And then we will do the same thing on the other side, which will make this point go down too. Okay, descended to low moon orbit. Perfect. So our target is going to be the Sea of Tranquility because that's where the Apollo 11 lunar lander actually did land. Okay, so in real life, two of the astronauts, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong got in the lunar lander and Mike Collins stayed in the command module. Then they would separate. So this command module stays in orbit around the moon while the lunar lander goes down to the surface. So let's position ourselves. Let's get away so we don't hit the command module. So we can see our orbit here is going to 
change, we're just going to slow down until our orbit will reach the Sea of Tranquility. Time warp until we get closer. Okay, so we're coming up now on the Sea of Tranquility. So we're going to want to slow down and position ourselves like this. We're going pretty slow now. So this will show us how fast we're going in each direction. So we're going 31 meters a second towards the ground and eight meters per second towards this way. So let's use our RCS to try to adjust for that. And we can see here's the surface right here. Let's open our legs, try to slow down our horizontal speed. I wanna make sure we're not gonna hit too hard. Speed up. Okay, here we go, we're going in for the landing now. And touchdown. Perfect. Landed on the surface of the moon in the Sea of Tranquility. Let's zoom out really far, and there's the moon, and here's us on it. Okay, now comes the hardest part of the entire mission, which is redocking with the command module. So here's the command module, and here's us. So the command module is moving counterclockwise around the moon. So let's wait till the command module is around here in its orbit so we can launch up and try to meet with it. About there, probably. Okay, and let's launch. We can close our legs now. So we're gonna wanna focus on this so we can watch its orbit right there. Perfect, now we're gonna time warp till we are at the highest point and then speed up to get our rocket into orbit. Okay, low moon orbit, perfect. Okay, so the orbits are a little bit wonky but that'll, that should be okay. Now we're going to click on the command module and navigate to. So it says we need to slow down by three meters per second and then we should meet up with it. Okay, here it comes right at this point where it should be meeting and we'll start doing it manually from here. So if we focus on this rocket, we can see what kind of adjustments we need to make. So it looks like we're going too fast this way, so we need to boost like this. Get our RCS. A little bit too fast this way now. And if we zoom out, we should be able to see it now. Here it is. So now we just need to get closer to it. Okay, meeting up with it. it looks like we went a little bit too fast, that's okay. Okay, here we go, docking. Very slowly. Boom, docked. Okay. So now the astronauts that were in the lunar lander get back into the command module. And we're going to transfer over any remaining fuel into our command module just to help on the trip home. Now that all the astronauts are in the command module, we can undock this. And all of the astronauts are in here. So we can just leave this here. And this is what's going to go back to Earth. So if we zoom out, we're going to want to click on the Earth. Oh, did we redock? That's awkward. Get away from this. Click on the Earth and click Navigate to. So this is going to give us our new transfer window, which is coming up in our orbit. So let's just make sure we're not going to hit that. And we should be good now. So we need to wait another cycle, another orbit, flip our ship around. We need to accelerate 174 meters per second. So we start boosting. So now that it, we're in escape velocity, let's zoom in on the Earth. So this is our current path, we're going to want it to be touching the atmosphere just like this. Right there. Should be good. Okay, we're on a trajectory back to Earth so we can time warp again. Okay, we're coming up on Earth. Okay, once we get about here, we're going to use the rest of our fuel to just slow down as much as we can. Let's just burn the rest of our fuel off or as much as we can before we reach the atmosphere. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the atmosphere, so I'm going to separate. And we are going to position this. So this is our heat shield, and we want the atmosphere to be coming into contact with that instead of our module. And the heat shields should slow us down and not let us burn to death. So if you check out our speed here, you can see it's slowly increasing. But once this starts to heat up, and there it goes, it'll start to slow down. So our heat shield is actually getting very, very hot because of the atmosphere, but it will save us from burning up. 
So this is exactly what we wanted it to do. And we entered the lower atmosphere. And once we get below 2,500 meters, we can deploy our parachutes. So we didn't burn out. Okay. We're now low enough that we can deploy parachutes and they'll have to play at first and we can just time warp three times. We can watch the land start to come up closer to the rocket or what's left of the rocket. Go back to one times. And there we go, we landed. Hit recover. So we can see all of our accomplishments. We landed in the Sea of Tranquility and escaped back to Earth. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll do another video on this game. And thank you so much for watching. Join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.